All right. So. Oh yeah, I'm recording. Uh. -huh. So, I am going. This is Universe Sandbox Two. Uh, and I really like how this game auto-generates the names of planets, stars, and moons and stuff. So, because I can't decide on a name for the new level I'm making, uh, we're going to have this game decide for us. So we are going to load up one of these. Uh, let's load up 50, just so I can... So... And whatever... So these moons are just going to be colliding and stuff. And they're all going to just be like colliding and stuff and going around. We're going to speed up time a bit so it doesn't take too long. And the name, you see in the side here, they all have names. Burundus, Ntis, Erinayab, Nyapu, stuff like that. And whatever moon at the end is like, if there's multiple going around, then whatever the closest one that hasn't been destroyed by everything else will be the one which I will name my next layout after. And if the name is too long, then I'll have to shorten it to something. Just take a portion of the name. So, uh, I'm going to set it to 40 minutes. No, not 4 minutes a second. 40 minutes a second, that seems reasonable. And here we go. So immediately we already have a bunch. Oh yeah, this is kind of loud, so you may not be able to hear my voice, but I already have a bunch colliding with the earth, a bunch colliding with each other. So if there's like some like way out, see there's like a fragment here. Earth has its water depleted now. It's a pretty good earth model, I think they updated it actually. This looks new. I think they updated the boom textures too. So yeah, whatever, uh, like this gas coming off is the, uh, huh. How did this moon get all its wa all this water? Was it like just in the path of all this water coming off the earth? That's interesting. Oh, now it's gone. That got a pretty big crater. See, this is really fun to watch. I'm, I was gonna stream this initially, but yeah. And you see down here, down here, uh, this guy just kind of collided with another. So eventually, it'll even out. It's already kind of evening out. Earth is still putting off this steam. Let's see if it's steam or not. Let's see what this is. It's hydrogen, apparently. Uh at five minutes in the video, whatever's closest that hasn't been destroyed by Earth yet will be the name. Actually, you know what? The biggest one. Okay, so at six minutes in the video, uh, I will order them all up, and whatever the largest moon is, the whatever that is still alive, we will have. And to make that more fair, I'm going to put up the time a little bit more. So now it's going faster. It's going a couple hours a second. It, this will just go by faster. It's playing genoptimally. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah, I recommend if you have this game. This is my favorite simulation in the entire game. Just so much can happen, and watching the names be destroyed and stuff is really interesting. So Tuaden is the winner at the at this point, but there might be one of these outer ones. Bona, I'm not naming it Bona. I hope Tuaden gets more because it's sort of in the 
Yeah, it's actually having its... I don't want it named Bona. Did that one get sent out? If it's, if it's Bona, I'm not... It doesn't count. I don't like how that sounds. So yeah, at this point in time, this... I like Tuatin, but there it's gone. Was that Bona? I think it maybe just has a very, very elliptical orbit. Is there anything else alive? I forgot what this is best with. This might be better with. This might have been better with a bigger thing. Oh, and this guy is still here. Bona Therapy. Something just got ripped apart. Alright, coming up. So I'm going to pause it when it hits six minutes in this video. There we go. It's now paused. Now we're going to chart by mass. So, Ona Therapy is what the next level is going to be named. Thank you for watching.